well in the center of Intel's uh, roadmap. Producers of a new movie rebranding Israel's image held a special screening this week in Jerusalem. The 55-minute film entitled Israel Inside, How a Small Nation Makes a Big Difference was prepared in time for Israeli Independence Day. We're presenting a film, um, How a Small Nation Makes a Big Difference. It's a, it's a, a first shot in what we feel should be an all-out campaign to rebrand Israel in the eyes of the world and to uh, show Israel beyond the conflict. We, uh, anybody who lives here knows that Israel is an amazing place um, with tremendous contributions, tremendous innovation and creativity, and that is not the story that's being told to the world, and we are just trying to show people the other side of Israel. At the face of adversity, with two wars in the Gulf, with two wars in Gaza and in Lebanon, with two intifadas. In the last 18 years, Israel built the second hub for innovation in the world after the United States. And I think that that spirit is now needs to be told. Because after all, remember, we're not only the people that invented things, we're also the people who told stories to the world. We have the story of Tal ben Shahar, who is, um, was Harvard's most popular professor in the history of Harvard, who was gone from Israel from 1992 for 16 years. And it follows him, he's the host of the show, and it follows him after his return here on his sort of exploration of what it is that brought him back here and what he feels are the key, we call them actualizers, which are the character traits of the Israeli people that have allowed us to now enjoy such incredible economic and innovative success. Many people say to me, what, you're crazy, you're leaving a, you know, a dream job, being the, the best possible position you could ask for, why are you coming back? And this is uh, my story of why I came back, and not only why I came back, what I found when I came back, because Israel is constantly uh, changing, growing, developing. What I found here is warmth, what I found here is innovation, uh, what I found here is uh, chutzpah in the best sense of the, of the word, what I found here is um, um, aliveness, the, the levels of energy um, that is here unparalleled anywhere in, in, in else in the world, and what I found here is people taking ideas and actualizing them, realizing them making them a reality. We don't feel that it's only about the high tech and the succeeding. We wanted to show, you know, their startup nation, which took the conversation to a certain level, we wanted to go deeper. We wanted to talk about the deeply Jewish um, traits that have been part of us as a people for thousands of years that are now really coalescing in the land of Israel to help um, make us so successful. So we use the film to show the, these actualizers. We've narrowed them down to six. And um, each actualizer has its high-tech sort of fruit that we highlight in the film, but we deal very um, thoroughly with the actual root, which is the actualizer, which is coming from, um, from a Jewish place, from a historical place, from, a, from a, a deep Israeli identity, Jewish identity. This whole idea of starting something from nothing that is so special, that is so unique in our people, in our tradition, it started with the pioneers in Israel. Those people that build the first kibbutzim, the first moshavim, the first city in Israel, that was a spirit that could be captured, and it's a spirit that still lives with many of us um, today. And then you now take it 100 years forward, and you have that spirit of the pioneer, but today the pioneer is not just called a pioneer, they're called an entrepreneur, someone who can build a company, that can come with a, with a great idea, and from nothing, they think that they could build something great. This film, Israel Inside, is going to be shown in hundreds of screenings through partners with, partnerships with hundreds of other organizations. Um, we have 64 screenings lined up for Independence Day, for 64 years of Israel's independence this year, this April. We're going to be using uh, viral internet techniques to d disseminate it. And of course, it's going to be also shown on PBS. It's already been shown on PBS, and we hope for a national rollout through PBS channels. It's also on LL flights and about 10 other strategies of dissemination that we're using worldwide. Can't wait to see that film.